Episode 37 Dimian forcibly absorbs the evil bone. The head of the Scarlet Heaven sect believes that the Hengyang sect and the Xiaoyao sect harbored evildoers, which led to the resurrection of the demon god. Now that the enemy is in front of him, the immortal sect cannot be without a leader. The head of the Scarlet Heaven sect believes that his sect can do it for him. Except for Hengyang sect and Xiaoyao sect, all other sects of the immortal sect supported him one after another, and the head of Tsun ordered to gather in Huangyuan to kill Tsung Jiumin three days later. Tsung Jiumin guessed from Si Ying's words that it was Di Mian who killed Xu Xuanzi with the Jiantian sword, and it was he who took away the evil bones. Song Jiumin discovered that Li Susu had borne the calamity for himself because of his evil bones, so he decided to accept the fate of the demon god. Now all the energies of Xianmen are focused on killing Song Jiumin, while Dimian holds the heaven-slashing sword and the evil bones, and only needs to find another opportunity to retake the marrow-cleansing seal and god-slaughter crossbow, Dimian was entrusted by Gongye Jiwu to visit his daughter Li Susu. Li Susu took the opportunity to ask what happened that day. Dimian explained that when the magic circle was completed that day, Tsong Jiumin suddenly appeared and killed Xu Zhang with the Jiantian sword. Door, and then attacked himself. <laughs> Li Susu thought that since Tsong Jiumin had the Heaven Zhang sword in her hand, it was impossible not to tell herself, and she had some doubts in her heart. Dimian advised Li Susu to break the relationship with Tsong Jiumin with a sword. Song Jiumin knew that it was very dangerous for Di Mian to be by Li Susu's side now. He believed that Di Mian betrayed the demon god 10,000 years ago, and now he wanted Di Mian to kneel in front of the magic palace and return the evil bone. Zhao Yu asked his disciples to find out about Song Jiumin's stay in the demon palace, but at this time he still believed that Song Jiumin had his own plan. Li Susu came to treat Di Mian's wound with wound medicine. She checked the wound and found that Di Mian was injured by her father Chu Xuanzi's sword move, but Di Mian had expected it and controlled her before Li Susu's exit. Di Mian wanted to leave Hung Yang sect. At this time, Zhao Yu came after receiving the news from Li Susu in advance. He tried to take Di Mian, but was injured by Si Ying who came suddenly. Si Ying and Jing Mie pursued him. The escaped Di Mian went away. Dimian didn't want Xie Gu to fall into the hands of Xie Ying and Jing Mie, so he forcibly absorbed Xie Gu. But after he forcibly absorbed the evil bone, he was controlled by the demon god instead. Li Susu came to find the injured Zhao Yu, and learned from him that Di Mian had escaped, and that Xie Ying and Jing Mie were also looking for Xie Gu. The two decided to split up to prevent Di Mian from absorbing Xie Gu. Song Jiumin gathered demons from all directions in the abyss, and he planned to use Xiaoyazong's sacrificial sword array to deal with them. In this way, Song Jiumin wanted to take away all the demons and destroy the possibility of the demon god coming to the world. When he was dying, Song Jiumin saw Ming Ye's last ray of consciousness in the heart protecting Lin. Song Jiumin thought that he could prevent more people from dying with the death of one person and he wanted to protect everything behind him. Mingyi exhausted his divine power back then to leave Prejna floating life at the bottom of the Emo River. Jisa once saw the phantoms of Tantai Jin and Li Susu on him and sang Jio. Mingyi told Tantai Jin that his death instinct could stop the demon god. Life, but his life can trigger the death of the demon god. Hearing Mingyi's prompt, Song Jiumin finally gave up the sacrificial sword array, after Si Ying and Jing Mie escaped from the control of the sword formation, they imprisoned Song Jiumin with all his cultivation, and then forced her Bayu to look after Song Jiumin, while the two demons planned to find the evil bones as soon as possible. A banshee wanted to take the opportunity to eat Song Jiumin, or Bayu was almost killed in order to protect Song Jiumin, Song Jiumin attacked the banshee, and the banshee accidentally discovered that the blood of the devil's body was really different, but let her surprisingly, there seemed to be another flavor hidden in the blood. Song Jiumin originally wanted to escape from the abyss with her Bayu, but he didn't want to be discovered by Jingmi in the middle. In order to protect her Bayu, Song Jiumin shot her Bayu into the abyss, but Jingmi killed him because Song Jiumin killed countless demons but bear the grudge and deal with Song Jiumin. 
Song Jiumin avoids Jing Mie and Si Ying's pursuit in Huang Yuan. At this time, Di Mian appears to control Jing Mie and Si Ying to absorb magic power. Jing Mie dies from being sucked up to protect Si Ying. Di Mian was controlled by the demon god and continued to absorb Si Ying's magic power before leaving. Song Jiumin realized that Di Mian, who was controlled by the demon god, would inevitably go to the demon palace to open the way of compassion, so he decided to return to the fairy gate immediately to inform everyone. Song Jiumin's cultivation base is useless, so he can only choose to trigger the warning golden bell around Huang Yuan to let the disciples of the immortal sect find out and come here as soon as possible. Trapped Song Jiumin The disciples of the Xianmen of the Hengyang sect wanted to capture Song Jiumin alive, but Gong Ye Jiwu and Head Sin only wanted to kill Tsong Jiumin as soon as possible. Dimian was controlled by the demon god and came to the gate of the demon palace. The demon god wanted to control him to open the path of compassion. The concubine came to Huang Yuan and found that her younger sister, seeing, was dead. She was deeply saddened, and she used magic power to find out that her younger sister was killed by Dimian, who was controlled by the demon god.